Hello, I'm Dr. Inman. This is a particularly important miniature lecture on autoimmune disease and immune-mediated disease conditions. This is a situation where the body has decided to become allergic to its own tissue. <coughs> we have a cascade, <coughs> excuse me, a cascade of events that basically involve inflammation associated with the body reacting against its own tissue proteins and also carbohydrates and fat cells essentially as non-cells. So the body tries to attack its own self and get rid of them. It's a classic tumor versus transplant or host versus tumor. Uh, transplant antigen antibody response essentially for those immunologically oriented. The condition essentially can be treated and is treated in the veterinary field with immune suppression. We suppress the immune system, we decrease the clinical symptomology, but that's just not solving the problem. That's just kind of covering up with this disgusting and expensive band-aid that's eventually going to kill the animal. So what we do is we endeavor to take away that immune-mediated response associated with that particular condition. We will use <coughs> frequent <coughs> frequency specific low level laser therapy. When we use a technique of frequency specific low level laser therapy, we'll use the magic numbers we have found over a period of time to be 887.5, uh, 73.24, 667, and 343. We basically put the preset head at thoracic inlet and then we scan the animal's body. Now you're going to say, well, how do I know what the animal's allergic to? What the problem is, we don't need to know. The body's immune system is looking at the problem right now. So essentially the attention of this animal's immune system is on this autoimmune phenomenon. And so we really don't have to do this. When we see allergy and we treat allergy, this is the same thing. An animal that is acutely reacting to allergy basically is concentrating its all of its immunological energy on the allergen it's fighting. And so when we utilize this approach, what we're doing is we're basically communicating to the section of the mitochondrial DNA of the killer T cell that has gone crazy over a specific antigen. For is Lyme's disease or autoimmune hemolytic anemia or a number of other disease processes that we routinely treat with this technology essentially. I have to tell you that a lot of our chronic disease conditions like chronic interstitial nephritis and chronic inflammatory bowel disease, almost all of our chronic disease conditions have an autoimmune component. And the reason that that is is because the body is breaking down that tissue over a long period of time and actually the, integ the integrity of those tissues become actually exposed to the animal's immune system essentially when a way they ordinarily wouldn't and all of a sudden the body says, wow, I never seen this before, this broke down product which used to be a liver cell or a kidney cell or it used to be a, a, a skin cell essentially doesn't look like normal anymore I think I'll attack it with an overly zealous immune system and then I will respond to it with a with a whole colony of killer T cells and helper T cells that are allergic to those types of tissues which will then start attacking normal tissue so what we're able to do is we're able to deprogram immune mediated disease conditions uh, involving autoimmunity and it sounds almost fantastic, however, we treat conditions uh, all like this all the time. A classic example, autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Animals allergic to its own red blood cells. What are you going to do about that except for suppress the immune system? Well, we take that problem away, essentially. Instead of, uh, instead of suppressing the immune system to try to keep the animal alive, we actually take that autoimmune capacity or autoimmune mistake away from the animal's body. The good news is, Majority of these animals, well over 85% of them, respond and we, we don't have the problem anymore. We have to laser them off and on down the road if they have an exacerbation, but that's very uncommon. The bad news is about 15% of these animals, or maybe 10% of these animals, have a compromised immune system genetically to begin with, and they may not be rehabilitatable. However, for 85% of these animals, and the condition is so incredibly common for all of our chronic disease conditions, we will add an autoimmune phenomenon. Um, uh, autoimmune set of frequencies using frequency specific laser therapy. About 70% of all of the cases that I get on the phone for, refer for referral are in fact essentially uh, chronic disease conditions that have an immunological component. So we throw in this set of frequencies along with the other frequencies that we use and very commonly that will resolve the problem extensively. So we find that it is very, very, very commonly undiagnosed or unrecognized and of course there is no treatment except for immune suppressing that is currently known in allopathic medicine, but when we start to look at frequency-specific laser therapy, we're able to pluck this immune, uh, immune, immunological mistake away from the animal and give this animal an immunology or immune system uh, 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 kickstart, if you will, and put it and reset it back to its normal level, essentially. There's a lot more we can talk to you about, about immunologically um, rehabilitating the 
um, uh, T cells and killer T cells of the body essentially and the chemistry that's involved with that but it's too much too extensive for me to go into in this miniature lecture I'd have you look at the data on in the course for frequency specific low level laser therapy which we go into it extensively and, and prove to you in with research etc exactly how this technology works by the way this information is not to be found at any veterinary teaching college on the planet uh, and we have over 800 practitioners that are veterinarians in the United States that are currently using this technology at this very moment. Thank you for your patience and um, this has been a lecture on immune mediated disease processes and also autoimmune phenomenon disease processes in the dog, the cat, the horse. Thank you and have a great day.